<laughs> I, I actually have written down a lot of things you guys individually have quote, you know, I quote you all a lot, so please forgive me because mm. you all really have a lot of like really great nuggets and I, was, I, I want posters of all of them. <laughs> Lena, one of my favorite quotes um, in one of your past interviews, you said, um, I'm, 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 ah, I'm going to proudly make people uncomfortable when I walk into a room. That, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy to do that. And I'm happy that that is, that to, to, to be a, a little bit disruptive, mm -hmm. I think is, is something that I think on some level everybody uh, has experienced. I don't think everybody is always as brave mm -hmm. as you. I think it's an important statement and I think it's an important goal. So I, I just think it'd be great for everybody to hear a little bit about what that you know, what that uncomfortability means to you and how it has really serviced you and I, I served you well. And I don't think it's about something you do intentionally. I think it's just about your truth. Mm -hmm. and, and I, I know that's a big question, but I think that that's a big part of what this panel is all about. Yeah, I mean, I think it's turned, it's less about uncomfortability now and more about, <coughs> I think, admiration. Because I think people that quote unquote run the business, tend to look the same. Uh, so when I walk into the room, there's a level of uh, intrigue. There's a level of a desire to want to stare in a good way because they're like, there's something, because honestly, in essence, it's a bit of a, the things that make me different are also a commodity. Because, you know, being brown, being female, having a different point of view, that's something the industry can make money off of. Uh, I don't write the Thanksgiving episode if I'm not gay, black, and female. But all those things get Netflix and other Emmy on its shelf. Mm -hmm. um, we share it, you know, but it adds to, you know, to their trophy shelf. Black Panther is a huge triumph, but I don't know black people own Marvel. Is it a triumph for us in our community? Yeah but it's still another notch in the belt for Marvel. So what I'm, the, the bigger answer is when, when I walk into a room, I don't know if it's uncomfortability, but it's more dollar signs because people want to buy what I have to sell. And the thing that I'm selling is my vulnerability, is my truth, is my brokenness. And in a way, I'm using that to entertain the world. So... When I walk into a room, yeah, maybe I still make people a little uncomfortable because to them, I have something that they don't. Um, but they still have something I don't. And that's green lighting power and, you know, and, and power. So it's a very unique game of chess, I think, we're playing now in this renaissance. Because, um, yeah, our, there's, a, there's a level of beautiful, complex black art that has become a bit of a cash cow. So it's good, but it's also a thing where we have to be mindful of it too.